Hey there again folks, welcome back to my Let's Play of Ever-17, The Outer Infinity. As we continue through Takshi's route. Um, to what ending, to whatever ending that uh, we're gonna get, whether it be good or bad. Incomplete sentence, end. So, uh, the uh, last time, uh, it just found out Sora was a hologram for the third time. Big whoop. And, uh, the, uh, you was, uh, making fun of him, uh, for not knowing about it, and, uh, I guess this was, this says he didn't get what she meant about the park entrance, and this is probably him figuring it out from that. No, don't, don't don't say anything. I know. I guess somehow I didn't want to have. I didn't want to have you tell me. Sora is some um, Sora is. Uh, I've got it. Wow, Takshi, you're trying to play it down low. You you really succeeding there. The, Sora is the ghost of a beautiful system in it. Engineer that died in the prime of her life with her dream still unfulfilled. She said it bluntly. Well, well, tell me what she is then. Looking around, I saw that I was the only one that looked confused. Coco and Peepee were looking at Sora as if they were impressed at something. And the kids just Sora, looking, you know, normal, which is The punctured can had stopped fizzing. I think it's... <coughs> Sorry. Alright, now she's introducing herself. Now I shall pause it till we get something new. Alright, a bit of time has passed, uh, well not, not like real time, but game time. This is the tag scene. Last time I did say I'll pass, that's right, because I was aiming for Sugumi's uh, route. And when she said she passed, I said, cool, I'm, I'm, I'm good at it too, I'm not, I won't do it. So this time we're going to say, I'm in, I'm going to take you all along. Which is... What he has to do. <laughs> it all sounded childish to me. Well, I suppose. Just sitting around here doing nothing would get kind of boring. Alright, I'm in. I stood up enthusiastically. Punks. It's on like Donkey Kong. Sugumi glanced at me out of the corner of her eye and then looked away. The kid whispered this to me. The emergency lights are on, but it's kind of dark. You okay with that? <coughs> this doesn't seem like tag at all. Okay, I think this is new stuff. So yeah, him uh, him uh, deciding not to uh, or deciding to play doesn't really change much. Yeah. All right. I will go to the central control room. So it's like a plan. Yeah, there wasn't anybody in the elevator hall last time, was there? I'm gonna stick with this uh, through the, through this since there are quite a bit of choices. I don't know if anything's gonna be different or make any real difference. I decided to hit the control room. Hit it hard. The monitors in the room were off and the room only dimly lit. The computers weren't moving. The computers weren't moving? Okay. And they weren't walking about, uh, high-fiving each other or something. 
I peeked into the lockers and under the desks, but no one was there. Well, I figured no one would want to hide in a place that would be cramped and hard to get out of. Gave up looking any more thoroughly and left the room. The elevator hall was one idea. Okay, so it's... Same t Oh, thing about where to go next. Oh! Just then I heard a sound. That was weird. Hey, hey Takshi, I'm totally not a distraction. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. Okay, this is all about normal. Ken's echoing about. Which, there was a lot of sounds like that through the kids' playthrough. Which makes me think that there's some time... Time travel definitely somehow has a thing in this game. Definitely has to, somehow. Let's go to the rest area. It don't look like we went there last time. I visited the rest area. I soon noticed that there was someone there. I could hear the sound of someone walking through water. As I got closer, the direction of the footsteps changed. If someone shortened, moving slowly. Is a battle of patience. My opponent's feet made a dash for the exit. I circled around to the side again and again to block off the person. The footsteps gradually moved away from the exit into a corner. I moved a little bit closer. I had a hunch whoever it was would make a break for it. I moved ahead to Moth and prepared to trip them by catching his or her leg. I heard someone fall spectacularly. Hey, I, I don't know who you are, but are you alright? I thought I was near the person, near to where the person had stumbled. But it was dark and I couldn't see much. I wonder if this might work. I took my PDA from my pocket and set the monitor black backlight to maximum brightness. But it was weak and nothing compared to a flashlight. <laughs> I, I have, uh... Tried to use uh, stuff like that for flashlights, it really sucks. Thought it might be brighter, but it was dim and didn't amount to much. Oops. A hand slipped. My PDA looked like it was headed for the water. I snatched it right before it hit the water surface. This sounds very familiar. I know I haven't read this. Huh. I glimpsed moving. I glimpsed something reflected on the water surface moving. Just about the biggest fish I'd ever seen started sliding away in the water. Well, if it isn't, the kid. I scooped up a handful of water from around my feet and dumped it on his head. <laughs> as soon as the kid stood up, he tried to get away. But he had a hood on and that hood was filled with water. The weight of the hood dragged him backward as he kicked his legs into the air and flopped back, back, down in the water on his back. A lot of backs in that sentence. The kid swam a kind of breaststroke in a small pool of water six inches deep. You know, if uh, they can always mar remarket this place kind of as a uh, kind of a pool party place. Is the water cold? He glided along, enjoying himself. That was probably what people meant by taking the water like a fish. Good, uh, good pun there. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that would be a pun, wouldn't it? Yeah. In the darkness, he swam to the other side of the room. Hey, just so you know, that exit is a long way around. The kid gave up and stood. He laughed as he said it. Keeping me on my toes. You're like a ninja or something. The kid took some kind of ninja pose. He jumped in the water again and swam some more. Found the kid and stepped on the can. Hmm. That's interesting. Now, this will all be... 
Huh. You know, crap, I haven't finished. I haven't done Sora's ending. I probably should have. Dang it! Dang it! Oh well. I guess it's okay. I guess the end of the world or nothing. This is the creepy moment, right? When the kid walks up and like, Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? Okay, nothing different there. Alright, well. When something else pops up, I shall bring y'all in. Alright. Next morning, Scooby just put a bunch of crap on her on her chicken sandwich and ate it. Big plot point there. So uh, now, Takshi's gonna ask, "Where did you go this morning? What's, what's up with your personal life? Uh, let me tell me tell me crap you obviously don't want to talk about." Instead of offering her, her another chicken sandwich. By the way, where'd you go this morning? Well, whenever we went to bed, you were still with us, right? When we got up, we couldn't find you, so... Hey, hey Sugumi. It's a hobby of mine, okay? I have to make charts. Like a chart of the whole... of a... Uh, Limu, and I have to have like little sticky pieces on it of people where they move to every time they go somewhere. Yeah, that that had the potential to maybe be a funny joke, but I uh, I failed it. That's not true. I'm in charge of breakfast, right? So I just wanted to know if you wanted some. What? No, um, I mean, uh, yeah, well, is that? It was on my mind, you know. I, I guess I was worried. I wondered what happened to you. Where'd you go? Where, where do you always disappear to? I guess I just wanted to know. It'd be horrible if she were to just say, You want to know, Toxie? I have a nervous stomach. I have to go a lot. Or, uh... Or, uh... Um... Crap! I can't. Well, what, what's the other one where they where they have to pee a lot? Wow! I can't think. Hey, got it. You, you just had to find a place to go by yourself, right? As usual, these questions were getting me nowhere. Well, if you don't want to answer, don't worry about it. I don't think she's going to worry about it, Toxie. Suddenly, a low metallic sound reverberated throughout the installation. It was a dull muffled sound. What was that? Really? I don't know who, who I should be sarcastic about. Her quoting that or Takshi requiring her to quote that. Hmm. I, I keep getting confused on what... Well, especially with the kids' route being different. But what's actually going on at, at specific times. I know she hasn't had the thing where she gets hurt yet, but oh, okay, yeah, we're, we're at that point. Okay, cool. So this will be, uh... by the way, guys, I'm totally going to bundle this, but, but screw this up. I'm supposed to turn this clockwise, yeah? I turned the blue valve with all my might. The sound of rushing air grew louder. Alright, next, close the red valve. The n next valve was nearby. Do this counterclockwise. This one goes counterclockwise, right? I turn the red valve. The strength of the steam coming from the pipe got stronger. Right, that does it. Okay! Holding, holding up her left hand to shield her face, Sugumi operated the welding torch with her right hand. The crack in the pipe closed visible. Takeshi, 
そっちのパイプを押さえてぐらついてるみたいスケミバークドオーダーとみえしゅうわりんあらじいず I reached out to touch the pipe with the valve I just closed. <coughs> the pipe was scalding hot and I pulled my hand back instinctively. Yeah, I think so. But we're going to have to support this pipe somehow. I'll try to find cover. I looked around, and the moment I took my eyes off the pipe, What? Turning toward the sound, I could see the pipe swelling rapidly. The cap burst off and flew toward my head. I pulled back, dudging, dudging suddenly. The flying metal ricocheted off the floor and came to a stop. That was close. Whoa! One after another, metal pipes bent and then exploded around me. Like in the Matrix. Wah! I panicked. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> Cause you're a manly man who doesn't care about whether you leave the women and the children behind. You just get the heck out of there. There were stacks of crates and old containers in the direction I tried to escape. Although the crates caught my weight, they shifted and began spilling over. Countless containers and rusty pipes started raining down. They passed me and headed on a direct course to hit the wall. And in their path was... Coco, watch out! <laughs> Metal was raining down. The old pipe broke apart into thousands of pieces. I don't know how much of this... Okay. Last time I actually did get it correct. I don't remember the uh I mean this this happens regardless, but hmm. I think it probably affects whether she opens up to you later or not, whether or not you screw it up along with some of the other stuff. Seems like this might work uh from the comments by Mr. Dawson, seems like it might work. These uh, seems like your relationships work on a point system. So, uh, so that would get no points, I'm guessing, or, or maybe even negative points. But anyway, yeah, it looks like looks like it's nothing new so far. Probably won't be any, anything different from that part of it till after she wakes up and says, I know you screwed up, so. What, what was she saying? Oh, wrong button. Wrong button. Mouse wheel. It's um, a, uh, a, a secret. Hmm. I've got the feeling we may have already bundled up, uh, b bumbled, screwed up, bungled. That's the word I've been. That's the word I've been bungling about early. Um, saying bundling about. Uh huh. And uh, I've got the feeling I've already screwed up Sora's ending. I don't know that. So, but this time I'm I'm going to say we're going the opposite route. Um, and kind of avoid her for now, and we'll get a good ending. Uh, I'm gonna aim to, for Takshi to die. For Takshi to bungle it at all. I'm gonna have to look up and see if that's really the right word. I think it is the right word, bungle. Bungle that crap up. Actually, I wanna stay here a little bit longer, if you don't mind. It is often that you get to see Sugimi being so still and docile. So this guy. I want to take the picture and put it on Facebook or something like that. Look! She's not always mean. Yeah, can't you talk to me here? Now, now you've got me wondering what the big secret is. Alright, oh, that, that makes sense. Let's 
So are left smiling. Although this this actually does get me uh I think this probably would get me positive points for this game. I, I I don't know. I don't know how this game works. I just click buttons. <laughs> I turned my attention again to Sagumi's sleeping face. She didn't say anything. Of course, it was normal for Sagumi not to talk to her about herself. But now she wasn't saying anything at all. I wanted to hear something as soon as possible. Anything, I didn't care. I just wanted to hear Sagumi's voice again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna mention what I just thought of. Huh? Maybe I will. <laughs> Let me make sure he actually said the wording that I... I just wanted to hear something. Okay. Fart joke. That's all I'm going to say. I began to believe that I could bear even her harshest, most cutting words. Cutting kind of makes the joke more relevant. I'm going to keep filming. What? What? I turned my head. Sure, I had been mistaken. The lift to the decompression chamber was moving on its own. Sure enough, it was moving. I ran over and peered into the square hole where the lift was. The lift had gone down and stopped. That's strange. I pushed the button to call the lift and jumped in. I'd go down to the decompression chamber. No one was in the room. Was the lift malfunctioning? I reached out my hand to push the button to take me back up. In that second, something crossed my line of vision. The sound of tiny footsteps was growing fainter, very tiny. I could tell that they were running through the emergency corridor. I turned into the corridor and followed the sound. I didn't think they were human footsteps. Maybe it's Pee Pee? But if Pee Pee had separated from Coco, he surely wouldn't be in a place like this. Seemed the owner of the footsteps was something smaller than Pee Pee? It seemed to be running with quite some momentum. Oh! It op Jamie can operate an elevator? Guess it's been around long enough to learn some stuff. Something even crashing into walls. It was in a desperate hurry. In any case, it's an animal of some kind. But what is it? It bothered me that it had run out of the infirmary. The footsteps turned off the corridor and straight into a dead end. I had followed right up, right up until that point, but somehow I lost it. Maybe it fell down into stairs along the corridor, climbed into a duct, and jumped down a floor. That clever little... Maybe it was a rat. Could be. Wouldn't be so strange for Lumi to have rats. In which case, something new for supper. This is stupid. What the hell am I doing chasing after a rat? Scratching my head, I retraced my steps. Before I got back into the lift, I glanced back into the decompression chamber and noticed for the first time that the bed was looking dirty. Hey, who ate their dinner here? There were small breadcrumbs on the bed. Hey, you. Hi. You. I got out of the lift and stomped over to where you and the kid were still in the middle of their repair efforts. Who was eating bread in the decompression chamber? Huh? He frowned and turned the hand holding the screwdriver toward me. I don't know. The kid had insulation tape around, uh, wrapped around his fingers. Why would it be me if I'm the one asking about it? I mean, it doesn't really matter who it was, but don't you think it would be better? Don't you think we'd better be a little more careful? I think there was a rat in here just now. If we leave floor. If we leave food laying around, it might get eaten. 
それなら確かに気をつけた方がいいかも今のところ売店に十分な食料があると思うけど荒らされたらたまらないもんねネズミ取り必要かな I don't think we need to go that far. So, then, what's the case? Is the middle of the screen? It's a little bit of a joke. I don't know what I'm saying. The kid laughed and shrugged his shoulders exaggeratedly. Who knows? Maybe I can do、uh, open heart surgery. Let's find out. Oh, sorry, Takshi. I don't know what none of this crap is. I don't know how to do surgery. We made it the chicken sandwich then and ate as scheduled. In the end, I didn't fix anything for dinner. What? Is it because there's not much you can do about that? There wasn't much of this kiosk except chicken sandwiches to start with. I cooked all the hot dogs this morning, so they're finished. The owner probably just kept them for a little variation.、Mm, the kid held the sandwich wrapping in his right hand and twisted it around his fingertail. The half eaten sandwich remained in his left hand, not getting any smaller. It didn't seem like he could finish it. Double negative alert. You w a s done eating and she peered at the kid's face.、Mm. There's a big tuna down below. She go down there and prepare the hat. Ma, so let them all touch the sand of the kiva. Go on, yato, you hold the side of my other sheet. It's the most available in the car. He's a guy. So they must hold on it. The kid tore off a piece of the sandwich and shoved it in his mouth. Hey, it looks like he got the picture. Yeah, it looks like we've got a real survivor in, on our hands. You answered shortly. Huh? Wait, have I just kept going here? I did, didn't I? I'm sorry. <laughs> ah. I guess, like I said, I, I have a horrible memory, so I just. Did it, did it. Okay. To say that it's what I'm gonna say, wharf, but that's what, that's what the dog said, but. That, what, that isn't a、uh, Klingon name, like I was thinking at a glance. Hmm. It's going to be the、uh, statue scene. Look, there's a, there's a, a、uh, no, it's the flower. Compar comparing the flower to life. And the alarm's going off and not worrying anybody. Very ineffective alarms that people don't get scared, to, scared the crap out of. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and pause it and, uh. Well, you know what, though? Actually, I'm going to go ahead and end it. This, this is pretty well. I do hope you folks enjoyed, and I shall return for the next episode. Farewell, folks. As a touching music starts, and the, and the, and the, and the choice to say this. b a d o o Alright. I hope you folks enjoyed, and I shall return for the next one.